Connor Foley, I wanted to ask you about the ICC, the International Criminal Court. Uh, you mentioned Sudan and its head. Um, you were in Britain with Amnesty, uh, involved with the campaign to hold Pinochet accountable, to get him arrested. What about that? Who gets indicted? Who doesn't? And what do you think of the latest uh, headlines just reading today about um, people in the United States, uh, um, two-thirds of Americans wanting an investigation, 40 percent wanting prosecution of Bush officials? Mm. Yes, in fact, I, I went into the field first uh, in Kosovo because I'd been working at Amnesty um, and was involved in the Pinochet case. Uh, the, the principle is fairly straightforward. Uh, there are certain crimes defined under international law, uh, torture, genocide, war crimes, crimes against humanity, uh, where people can be prosecuted uh, throughout the world, irrespective of their nationality or where the crime was committed or the nationality of the victims. So the Pinochet case happened because um, he, he uh, committed torture in Chile during the coup, um, and then he stepped down and gave himself an amnesty and said, as the former head of state, I can't be prosecuted. Uh, he went to Britain, and the Spanish said, well, under universal jurisdiction, Spain, Chile, and uh, the United Kingdom have all ratified the UN Convention Against Torture, and therefore you can be, uh, you can be, you pro can be prosecuted. And the House of Lords issued a judgment saying that would be the case. Um, I think that was a very significant judgment, and it was around the time that the International Criminal Court was being created, and it was around the time that human rights arguments were being used uh, to justify armed intervention in Kosovo. And I think it's got some relevance for the situation for you here in America today, um, because the United States is a signatory of the UN Convention Against Torture. There's a clear prima facie case that torture has been committed and was authorized at the highest levels by the previous administration in breach not just of U.S. In obligations under international law, but uh, U.S. obligations under domestic law. So I think there's a clear case that you, the people of the United States, need to hold your previous leaders to account. Um, I think there should be a commission of inquiry. It's very, very good that there's 75 percent support for a commission of inquiry. I saw there was 40 percent uh, support for prosecutions. Clearly, first you have to have an inquiry. First you have to find out if, if the law was broken. Um, I think there's a whole number of documents that possibly need to be declassified. There needs to be a, a thorough debate about this. And, I, I, and in the 30 seconds or so that we have left, any uh, sense from you in terms of what, what's the humanitarian crisis that most poses a threat of escalating now into, into military intervention? Well, the, the big crisis you have in is, is Afghanistan, where you already, uh, or the U.S. has already in, intervened. Uh, there are looming crises. Well, the Democratic Republic of Congo is, is the big one, um, and there are there is already a, a big peacekeeping force there. Um, I think the, the point I'd like to, to end though is just on the need to have um, not to have double standards. If the United States has a proud tradition of upholding democracy, human rights throughout the world. That reputation has been tarnished, and I think you owe it to the rest of the world uh, to redeem that reputation by finding out exactly what happened under the previous administration and holding people to account for it. Connor Foley, we want to thank you for being with us. Have a safe trip back to Brazil. His new book is called The Thin Blue Line How Humanitarianism Went to War. And that does it for our broadcast. Democracy Now! is produced by Mike Burke, Shri Hodo Kadusa, Armate Angeli, Comet Steve Martinez, Nicole Salazar, Honey Masood, Robbie Karen, Mike DeFilippo, Miguel Nagara, Peter Curries, our engineers. Special thanks also to Becca Staley, Nick Gala, Angie Kiefer, Samantha Chambly, I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. Thanks for joining us.